Hi friends, Itheria here, and we are back once again in the character creator slash in the new benchmark to do another comparison because they dropped a new version of the benchmark. And from what I understand, most of what they did here was kind of like fix the lighting and they fixed the moon cat uh, teeth, the fangs, but I don't... I don't think it looks that much different, frankly. Um, you can really see the lighting changes in the trailer, and I have a video posted on that. So you can take a gander at that if you are interested. But for now, we're going to focus on this comparison. And guys, I'm going to keep this video short. I know that some of you were excited for a part two because you thought the way that I ranted in the first one was funny. And you're right, it was funny. But I just don't have a lot to say because... I feel the same way that I felt before. What have they actually changed here? Like, changing the lighting didn't make her pupils smaller. Changing the lighting did not make her lip more shaded. I just like everything about the old version better. I think it's more charming. I like the shape of her lips better. I like the shading on her lips better. I like the gloss on her lips better. I, I just... I don't know. I literally think it looks better and maybe I'm crazy and some people will think I am, but I just find this style prettier and more charming. Where this style is kind of more like doll-like. I don't know how to describe it, but notice her face here is much more like sharp almost. It's more pointy, more of a defined V thinner. Her face here is so much wider, and maybe I can fix that if I choose a different jaw. Nope, that's wider. And that's also wider. Okay, I can't change that. Um, so that's the thing, is there's just all these like little changes that to me make my character look different, like it's like a parody of her, like it's not my character. Let's see if I move a little. But the lighting's different. Okay, here it looks a little bit better in terms of the jaw looking a little slimmer. It could also just be the shading. And now one of the things they did with this new benchmark is they added this lighting feature. So you can have a more like yellowy lighting when you're in this like blue starry background thing. But overall, yeah, I don't have anything different to say. Everything I said about the first thing kind of still applies here. Even the lips, they're not... They're still kind of dry. She still looks kind of dry, if you ask me. I still think that this version has more moisture because it has a lot more gloss on the lips. And the highlights, too, are still nicer. See this highlight here? Oh, it's nighttime now. I think it's maybe a little better, but it's not so glossy as it is here. Trying to get like a good... I do think it's improved actually, but I still just like the other one better. Because even if they did make the lips glossier, that'd be a good place to start. But the eyes and stuff still look different too, because even like the eyelashes here, they almost like are straighter than these. Like, these feel like they fan out and up a little bit more, where these feel like they uh, fan more out to the side, like going this way, and they don't fan up above her eyelid as much. Does that make sense? So, it's just the same thing as last time, where just because they change, you know, just because they change some colors and some lighting in the benchmark, that doesn't do me any good. She's still... Oh god, here she still looks dead. Does she not look... Like, she looks like a creepy doll right here in this. This is not... Let's try and find some better lighting. Um, so no, I'm not happy. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of at the point where I just have to accept that this is the new reality. This is what the game is going to look like. Does it look bad? No, I said it before. It doesn't look bad. I just think the other one looks better. I honestly think my cat girl is a little bit more tragic because the way that they changed the lips and the eyes on that, let me just, let's get my cat girl loaded up. Okay, so here's my cat girl in the new benchmark. We can also try this other lighting out, which makes her look more creepy, 
But the way that they changed the cat girl, here's the thing is like, it, it does look more like HD, I guess you could say. But because of the way that they changed the shading, like, don't get me wrong, I think the eyes look cool. Like, I like the way that they changed the shading in the eyes. It also looks like maybe they got rid of that yellow that was in here before, because it almost had this yellow. Um, the way that they changed the shading on the eyes does look good. It's just the problem is that it doesn't look good on, like, really pale eyes anymore. So here's my original character. It's not as intense by any means, so she doesn't look so creepy, and her face is just a lot softer. There's something about the way that they changed the lips, and even a little bit the face shape, that I feel like the original just has a softer look that doesn't look as creepy with the eyes, where the new eyes, she just looks creepy now, and I kind of, I don't, I'm not gonna play her at all. Like, this is a design that's now completely in the trash. Like, my Ora, I think I can get used to, but this is garbage. <laughs> like, this one, I, I cannot play. She is so creepy. And, like, I guess the cool thing is, if you want to be able to make a, like, kind of creepy-looking character, do you want do you want my character details? Because here you go. You can make that now. Um, I will say they did improve the eyebrows. The complaints about the eyebrows being invisible did get fixed. Her eyebrows are actually there now, so that's good. Another thing I want to mention, just because we're on this topic of me talking about not liking my characters anymore, is the Fantasia. They actually changed Fantasia's Coming Dawn Trail, that when you use it, you will have a whole hour of playtime, which means you could log out and it wouldn't count. But you have an hour of playtime, from what I understand, um, to change your character. So you use your Fantasia, you're hearing the character creation thing, and you get into the game and you're like, oh my god, actually, I hate that. Um, then you can use the Fantasia. You have an hour to go back into the little Fantasia zone and fix things. So that would also mean that you could play around with different races for that hour too if you wanted to. If you're maybe not sure which one you want to go with. So that's a really cool change. I think a really necessary change. But yeah, my cat girl is done for. And at the end of the day, like I said, nothing has changed for me because they changed the features of a lot of these races, right? Some of them are really subtle, but then other ones like my cat girl, not subtle at all. I think this is like night and day, to be honest. And I think for my cat girl, it's actually really stark because of the face choice, because you can see a huge difference in the lips, and also because of the color choices that I made, where I originally liked the contrast between the eyes and the lips, but now it's just coming off very creepy. So, for some people, I think the depending on how your character was created, like how you chose everything, the colors you chose, etc., etc., you might not notice as stark of a contrast. Like, my O'Ra's contrast is nowhere near as stark, I think, as my cat girl's, but I don't like either of them. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of either of them, and unfortunately, I just have to accept the fact that the game is changing and leaving me behind. So that's really all I have to say. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Sorry that I couldn't be more positive. I kind of didn't even want to make this video because I was like, what do I even have to say? Everything's the same. Like, sure, the lighting is better, but that doesn't change the shape of her lips. You know what I mean? That doesn't... I actually, funnily enough, feel like the cat girl lips are slightly glossier than the uh, O'Ra's were, but yeah, like nothing changes because they're not actually changing any of the features that they changed. The only thing they did was give moon cats their teeth back. You know, like they didn't really change anything in terms of like the facial features. They darkened the eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> like the major things that I didn't like are still there. So I have nothing new to say. But there it is. This is the new benchmark. It's slightly improved. The trailer itself, the lighting is definitely improved, but most of my criticisms from my initial video are, I feel are still valid. I, I do still feel that my overall lacks moisture, and that's just how it is, so thanks for listening to me complain again, and I'm sorry that I had to complain again, but some of you did ask for this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching please consider leaving a sacrifice to alert algorithm in the form of a like, comment, share, or subscribe.
Bye. Shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for your support.